cooling the summer heat. This is ancient knowledge that goes back thousands of years. And this heat is referred to in Ayurveda as Pitta. During the summertime, the fire energy can become vitiated and cause a person to have certain conditions. And when you get these principles down, one can really live in more peace and less frustration and uh, bodily harmony than before. Uh, if you're new to this practice of Ayurveda, this is a uh, considered, it's considered the mother of all medicines. Uh, even Hippocrates, uh, his principles are suspected to have come from Ayurveda. So literally the father of modern medicine has been known to have studied in the East and brought back these principles. Uh, he relabeled them as the humors. However, true Ayurveda is not the humor system. It is Vata, Pitta, and Kapha. Pitta is the fire, uh, Kapha is the earth, and Vata is the air element, and each of these reside in the body. The fire is primarily in the middle part of the body. This is where the food is broken down and it's processed into tissue. The conversion of the food into tissue happens. The vata, the primary seat, is in the lower part of the body. This is where the food is actually pushed through the system and finally eliminated. The upper part, the primary seat, is of kapha. It is that of mucus, the fatty brain stuff, and the lining around uh, certain organs. So while these do have certain seats, they also exist in all parts of the body. But I wanna bring this up specifically about the summertime because what happens in the summertime is Pitta can sometimes move from the middle part of the body upward and also downward too. It can basically move out of its seat and go up, let's say, into the brain and start causing people to really push on and on and on and on. And their brain may become inflamed. And in Ayurveda, these cycles were noticed how in certain times of the year the uh, different doshas would start vitiating in people and right now in the upper hemisphere we're dealing with the summertime and what can happen is pitta can start to aggravate and this will manifest in feelings of uneasiness feelings of angst even anger, frustration, um, this want to push on and on, this want of unsatisfaction, this ravenous desire can happen during this time. It becomes more inclined during the summertime. And so if you research this, how to balance Pitta, you'll find all kinds of remedies on how to do this. Uh, statistically, there is a rise of violent activity, crime, instances of murder and all kinds of violent uh, assaults that happen during the summertime. And what happens is the sun, the energy from the sun exacerbates the energy in the body, which is that of Pitta. Pitta can basically get out of its seat where it starts rising up and it gets into the brain and it makes people sometimes crazy. And so there are ways a person can cool 
pitta and thus return to their peaceful state. And we're going to talk about a little bit of these. So number one is to keep hydrated and to drink cool fluids, cool things throughout the day. This will neutralize some of that pitta activity. One should favor nature. Um, what can happen with pitta vitiation is there's this ravenous desire to work and work and work. And what can also happen is it just wears a person out where they, they can't uh, focus because the pitta basically scrambles the mind. And so it needs to be channeled, um, but it needs to be cooled first. So the cooling aspect is getting oneself into nature, becoming still, having deep breaths, and one can also use cooling herbs. Um, things that are kind of bland, uh, bland foods such as oats, uh, milks are very good to cool pitta. Things that are cool in nature. One wants to avoid foods that are overly spicy. Black coffee can exacerbate pitta. Alcohol can exacerbate pitta. Um, overwork can exacerbate pitta. This pushing on drive can exacerbate pitta where there's just never enough. So vitiated pitta is characterized by workaholism. It's characterized by frustration, anger, pushing, combativeness, uh, inflammation in the body, even in the lower body. Um, things like hemorrhoids are often caused by pitta. It can also be caused by kapha. And so these uh, manifestations can signal to an Ayurvedic Vaidya or practitioner that the body is undergoing a Pitta problem and then the uh, Ayurvedic doctor can then prescribe a regimen for the uh, person to take and thus cool themselves. Uh, pitta vitiation can manifest as inflamed skin where you have rashes on your skin, redness on the skin. Um, this is very common. And so cooling creams may be prescribed. Um, and a cooling diet in general. Grains are very good for clearing pitta. There's an herb called guduchi, which is good for cooling pitta. Um, teas can be good for cooling pitta. One wants to avoid too much caffeine because caffeine increases the vata, which can literally push the pitta in areas of the body that it shouldn't be. And so it can work synergistically to move pitta. So it's about being still, it's about slowing down, it's about cooling the pace, long walks, walks in nature, drinking plenty of fluids and making sure that these are cooling fluids. Lime drinks. Lime is known as the cool element of lemon, where lemon is known to be more heat producing. Uh, lime is the cooler element. However, uh, lemons can be cooling too, but drinks that are cold and drinking them often, keeping them uh, going throughout the body. Moving the body, stretching, twists, turns, circulating the blood. Because what can happen too is the pitta will become stagnated. And if it has moved, let's say into the brain, a person can become very frustrated. They may be in angst. They may be in anger. And so that needs to be circulated. The blood itself needs to be circulated and thus it will cool the body. Uh, and this is apparent. Anyone who knows how engines operate, 
they uh, water itself will be circulated to cool the engine. And so water itself keeping hydrated is very important during the summertime so that the whole body becomes cooler. Uh, mint can be a good cooling uh, drink. Mint tea, go to cola is cooling. Brahmi can be cooling. Shankapushpi can be cooling. Even some ashwagandha, even though that is slightly warming, that can be cooling because it brings the body into kind of a still uh, state where it's not overly ravenous. So Pitta is a real phenomenon, just as all these doshas are. And when we identify the uh, aspect of ourselves that begins during certain months, we can balance it ahead of time so we don't fall into certain conditions and thus throw ourselves off of balance. Um, the seasons can also exacerbate certain conditions. So if a person has or has a preponderance of a certain condition, by balancing oneself before the turn of the season, because that's when it usually starts to exacerbate, or towards the end of the summer, so the mid to the end of the summer are the times when the pitta tends to get out of control, but also at the beginning of the season. Uh, the change of season can cause an exacerbation. Um, the uh, diet should be heavy in fiber. Fiber is very good to combat pitta. It will literally flush the pitta out of the system. You can think of pitta such as like an oily water. It's a hot, oily water. And it can be flushed out of the system through eating a proper diet. Something like psyllium husks can be good to eat to flush out pitta, especially if it is lodged in the lower region of the body. So all of these are tips for you to potentially implement, but if you look up and search on cooling pitta, you will find many things to do. And by doing this, a person will have a preponderance of arriving at a peaceful state much easier because their body will be in balance. Okay, y'all, so hope you enjoyed this. This is about understanding these principles, and they are elements of the earth. Uh, it is scientific. It was one of the first, and actually the first, as far as I know, uh, medical sciences. And we can use this ancient wisdom, this ancient knowledge to balance our bodies and thus live a more harmonious life and a more healthy life. So again, thank you for joining me. Feel free as always to comment and I appreciate you. Hope you're having a wonderful, awesome summer. Thank you. Hey, before y'all go, I want to let you know that I have uh, two Ayurvedic courses now available directly on the Sifu Myers website, uh, Ayurvedic Foundations and also Advanced Ayurveda. These are now available at a super low price. Um, you can learn a lot of stuff uh, in a short period of time. I've spent years compiling this information and integrating this information thousands of hours studying Ayurveda and traveling to learn this, to bring it to you in a, the most distilled form. Um, it is a, a great opportunity to learn valuable things to help balance your body and to be able to uh, resolve certain issues. And it's just really, really good stuff. Uh, it is a, it's a great course. Both of these courses are great courses. Uh, you can cancel your subscription anytime and uh, highly recommend. So thank you for joining me on this one more time.